guys and welcome back to the channel welcome to another vlog from your girl chanel if i am new on your screen you've never seen me before i am chanel i do all things beauty fashion lifestyle and travel and thank you so much for joining me in a brand new one today all right so i don't want to ramble too long i am very appreciative of all of you who have been supporting me for my vlogmas series for my nyc vlogs thank you all so 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 much all my new subbies welcome if you are an existing subscriber what's up babe thanks so much for joining me again if you do enjoy this video do not forget to smash the like button be sure to leave me a comment let me know what you think or any video suggestions i'm all for it subscribe if you have not already and relax enjoy because i'm sure you will all right so let's get started so before i get into my what I got for Christmas haul, I want to tell you all about this amazing brand called Popsy, P-O-P-S-Y, that reached out to me. This is a really amazing electronic brand because they actually sent me my very own refurbished iPhone. Because if you know anything about the Apple series when iPhones, you actually would not be able to purchase this from the Apple store. They no longer sell, I believe, any iPhones below the iPhone 11, which is the phone that I'm using to record on right now. But this phone actually works like if this is a brand new up-to-date phone as if i would have just purchased an iphone 11. yes of course there would be differences in the camera and stuff like that however this phone's camera is really good it does have portrait mode which is always a great thing it has 64 gigabytes which is a really good amount of storage it's more than 16 and 32 because unless you you know don't really take much pictures and videos and all that and in this day and age i don't know if many people you know still don't do that even my parents who are you know retired in their 50s and 60s have a lot of pictures and videos on their phones right so it's like the storage is a really great thing that's something that i always look forward to when it is i am looking for a brand new phone but what is really impressing me the most about this phone is that the ios which is the apple system is functioning as if it is a brand new phone which is really really amazing so you don't have to worry about okay then will it be able to download certain apps it can download a lot right so let me show you just in case no one believes me so i actually have this as the home screen right now what it looks like it has all the up-to-date apps like uh i have my Shein app of course i have snapchat i have instagram facebook messenger i have teams messenger sorry is this messenger yes messenger <laughs> TikTok, of course um naya has downloaded a game here called what is that episode yeah and like the phone honestly is super 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 good and the battery lasts a pretty long while which i'm really impressed about camera quality is also really good like i was describing to you all before so i'm gonna actually take a picture should i do it like this way you know what let me take a picture of myself so i'm gonna take a selfie right now with the phone so i took a regular picture right it also has live pictures and this is what it's looking like i don't know about y'all but i find this is really great quality for a phone that is not one of the latest i'm really impressed so guys if it is you are interested please go check out popsy let them know i sent you and you can get yourself a brand new iphone okay guys so now into what i got for christmas right so while i was in new york i actually did ask y'all if y'all wanted to see the bath and body Works sale products that i got because as y'all know or if you may not know Bath & Body Works always has a semi-annual sale twice for the year in June and they also have it from December 26th, Boxing Day, every year until January 26th. So basically all of their hit products, they also bring back some products from years ago, some real good bestsellers. Um, they bring them back and their prices are usually between $4.95 to like $8.95 and of course, you know, I had to get in there because I love to smell good so of course we had to check it out so let me show you what it is i got i purchased six for me 
right and i purchased two for naya because she's more of like a shower gel kind of person but for the ones that i got let me tell you let's start off with gingham heart of gold so this is what it looks like right it's very pretty and i believe this one was like eight dollars it was more on the expensive side but if you all know anything about gingham that particular scent it usually is the blue and white one kind of like a check and scent it is really really good and this one is even better so oh my god it literally smells like a real perfume but let me give you all the notes right it is made of crisp golden apple creamy vanilla bean and a warm sandalwood so if you all like vanilla scents like me you will really really like this it smells like an actual perfume an actual high-end luxury fragrance so i have to get my hands on this one um another one that smells like a legit luxury fragrance is you're the one and this is what it looks like and the fragrance notes with this one is a white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar and it is like really good i love fruity scents and vanilla scents so if you're like me you will definitely enjoy this oh my gosh and it smells so strong like i like scents that will stay on me the entire day so if it is i'm heading out i want to be able to you know sniff my clothes and i can still smell good you know so these are some really good long lasting scents i haven't really like sprayed them too much on my body well besides like on my arm when i was testing them out but they're really good so we have gingham heart of gold and we have you're the one right so those next are the up i have two. pink watermelon this is actually a scent from a long time ago what i realized with bath and body works and i'm sure you've realized it too if it is you've you know ever paid attention like that they just bring back some of their scents that are like top sellers and change the packaging so the pink watermelon looks like this and as you can tell just from the name it has juicy watermelon pink petals and dewy aloe it smells really sweet so this is a kind of a sweety kind of i don't know how to describe it that good but it smells juicy and sweet it smells really really good this is actually one of my favorites from years ago that i consistently have to repurchase because it smells that good damn one just fell but anyway so next up we have starlet night which looks like this starlet night Oh, I remember this one. This one smells like a legit perfume, but it reminds me of like a winter kind of vibe, right? So it's like snowberry, midnight iris, and sensual agarwood. It is smelling very... It smells like a mature scent, but it's something that you can mix with another one if you don't want it to be too strong. But I really do like this one, so I had to get my hands on it. And another one we have, which is a crowd favorite, is called Black Raspberry Vanilla. This is what it looks like. Just repackaged, but this is an actual older scent. Um, it is fresh raspberries, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid, and creamy sandalwood. Ooh, oh my gosh. This smells like a fruit lover's dream. So if it is you like that kind of berry scent, whether it's raspberry or blackberry, with a little hint of vanilla, this is it for you you would love black raspberry vanilla love 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 this is a scent that i've had for years when it was like in the brown and maroon packaging yeah but they brought it back with purple packaging and it's looking really cute so i love it especially when i have them all laid out on my counter so yeah this is it and last but not least let me get the one that fell so the last one i have is called twinkling midnight sky so it's actually no blue packaging right um let smell this one this fragrance notes uh, midnight flower sparkling vanilla ice blackberry so it's basically another fruity you know vanilla scent which as i told you all is one of my faves so yeah those are the six fragrances that i got i also got a candle from my cousin for christmas i need to tell you all about that because that one smells amazing so let me show you what it looks like so the candle i got is called sunshine mimosa it's a three wick can three wick candle sorry it smells like if you're on a hawaiian beach somewhere oh my gosh it smells like it has a combination of fruits in it so if you like like nectar fruits like oranges peaches pineapple mm, oh my gosh so i already did use it <laughs> i like my room sorry i like this candle in my room uh, i think the day when i got back because i just wanted my room to smell good and my feet were swollen so i just needed to be relaxed so yeah this is definitely a relaxing scent it is very pretty as well i love candles that you know go with my room's decor and these these 
colors actually go really well with my room's deco because ignore the wall but besides that my room is like orangey peachy kind of vibes right now with a little hit of, hint of pink so yeah this is like really really good and it smells like oh my god mm, i was just going around the store just like sniffing everything because it smells so good so 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 good but yeah the sunshine and mimosa i'm not sure if this is like one of the latest scents or something but i've never ever heard about this scent before but it's good it's like real 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 good <laughs> okay guys so next up i'm gonna tell you about the equipment that i got for myself for christmas i had to purchase this because i had some obligations as you all know concerning the uh wig installations if you are not familiar go check them out in the description box down below i did two wig installations of a closure wig as well as a lace front wig from two companies that sent them to me and i did not have lighting where you know i was trying to do them so i can't really travel with my ring light it's huge and just bulky and that's too much to travel with so i'm not even going to try so what i did get which is like one of my best purchases i think i've ever gotten which i've always wanted but you know just was kind of like do i need it but anyway i don't want to ramble but yeah i got the studio lights the newer two-pack dimmable youtube video photography lights well those are the things with the boxes you can use them for and they actually came in this box oh, hold a second right they came in this box and they are actually a lot taller than that so i was amazed of how tall they are because you can actually construct them why am i saying actually so much but anyway so these are what they look like this is the length of one so from here all the way to this one so it's two of them i got them from amazon they cost about 44 us for them the great thing about it is when it is you live in the states so when it is you have a us address and you're actually staying there at the point in time they get there like in two days which is really good so i did not have a long wait time at all so let me plug them in for you so i have a double head plug so i can put them in right here there we go like that i'm gonna show you all what the lights look like they come with both of them each have a switch so you can actually put it on with the middle button and the ones above and below it's for up and down right so this is what it looks like so it is super bright as you all can see my window is open right now but this in the darkness it's very very bright and they're both like that so i love it if it is you're like doing any kind of video creation like the light is really that good which i love about it right and it was affordable also as you can see it came with this silver light right well white in a piece so this is detachable if it is you want and this is actually even brighter without the filter thing that it comes with i'm saying thing because i don't know what do you call this but yeah it also did come with for each light it came with a packet of different filters so if it is you want to change it please ignore my neighbor's dog if it is you want to change it you can have a choice of whether you want yellow or whether you want red or whether you want blue so I'm going to change it and show you. I'm going to put in the blue first. Like that. So as you can tell, it's blue. So it's really cool if it is you want to do like different effects or different kind of pictures or videos, whatever it is you're doing. If you want to do like a little at home photo shoot, you can do that as well. Yeah, I purchased myself these kind of like as a christmas gift but kind of you know to shoot my content because it was necessary and they're easy to detach and put right back into the box so just imagine these two lights came fit everything like that into this box so it's really good for travel as well if it is you are interested in you know having some light with you if it is you're taking pictures when you're traveling whatever it is like that this light is like really you know coming in handy so switch it off 
Okay, guys, so next up, I'm going to be showing you my purchases. Continuing with the whole techie vibe um, from five and below, right? So this is basically um, like a twenty dollars. So what we have in Trinidad, do we still have that anymore? Like I used to see that all over. I don't know if it still has one, but I used to love the twenty dollars store. But yeah, this is a, a store. Everything is five US and below, so you can actually get things for like twenty cents, forty cents. Yeah, like candy and stuff. Of course, now I was living. You would have seen that if it is you looked at probably my first vlog, where it is we went first NYC vlog when we went. Um, because we actually went there a couple times well though, because Five and Below really has some good stuff. And I'm kind of annoyed with myself because I found a gem, which is, before I take it out of the box, my Bluetooth speaker. Yay! I'm so excited about this. I really didn't think it would have worked because it was $5. That's the risk that you run when it is you buy something of a lesser value. Sometimes you think that it will not work really well and it works really well. So I got my Bluetooth speaker for five US dollars. All right, and it came with a charger because it comes with a battery. It is looking like this, right? It has high quality sound, built in rechargeable ion battery right so i was like you know what let me just try it out because you all know i always wanted a bluetooth speaker. so first things first i'm going to switch on the button behind and right next to it is where you can charge it right so it makes a kind of a beep noise and then it goes into different colors i think this is so cool and for five dollars hello right so now i'm going to connect my phone's bluetooth with it let's go to settings bluetooth on and i'm going to connect it right it comes up as bt chrome led and i'm going to pair them together right so it's connected and now i'm actually going to play something off of youtube the full song because i'm not trying to get copyright but yeah it is really a conveniently great thing <laughs> i'm very glad i had it i wish i had bought more but say what you know i'm happy that i have this one and i'm definitely gonna get more next time but yeah for five dollars this is definitely a steal of a deal so i got myself a car charger i have an iphone 11 and that's the phone that i mainly use and because of that, the regular car charger, like the ports, because my charging port has a smaller bit of a plug-in, uh, I had to get another one. I always like to have a car charger around with me, whether I'm in, you know, one of my parents' vehicles or like with a friend, anything like that, because I don't ever want my phone's battery to be low. So yeah, I had to get me one and this was actually $5 as well. It was a little costly, it could have been like $2, but say what, I'm not gonna fight it. So yeah, that's the end of my whole technological gift haul for myself. On to the beauty products that I got for myself. Um, I got myself this hairbrush, which I really like. I really like the color and here it's kind of squishy, the handle, right? So I got myself a big, nice hairbrush, five bucks. I also got myself this really huge, cute, um makeup bag it says be awesome today i have a makeup bag already but i feel like if it's too small for like things that i like to you know have on me what does it have on me i mean like just to put everything in and be able to find it all at once so like my makeup bag can't really fit like some of my makeup palettes so i wanted something that i could incorporate everything with and this was also five bucks so you can't go wrong with that and I believe that's the end of my five and below purchases. So now let's get into the beauty aspect because I got some pretty cool okay, stuff. Okay, so these are from Ulta that I got at King's Plaza 
uh, mall as well as in Target. A couple things that I decided to pick up. So let's check them out. So first things first, I got were these sponges, right? So I can't remember the exact price of this. This was actually from Target, but I believe it was affordable. I don't think it was more than $6 or so much. Oh, and I did get this set from Five and Below right so real techniques is one of my actually favorite brands i only used to use their products before it is i discovered shop kenzie beauty right but i still like their sponges though i'm not sure if kenzie beauty has sponges i think it's just brushes but sometimes i you know feel to switch things up on sometimes i'm lazy and my brushes may be a little bit dirty so yeah i would use some sponges so i got me some real technique sponges right so that's number one at Ulta, I decided to get me two of the Morphe setting sprays. I used to use this one all the time, especially during quarantine. I purchased it locally the first time around and I was really impressed. It came in a three pack with um, my eyeshadow primer, which I still have and something else. But yeah, I really, oh, I think it was a face primer too. But yeah, I got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist which basically is a great setting spray. And I also got the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist because I'm an oily girl. So this one basically melts the makeup into your face and this one keeps you nice and matte. And I used this for a couple times well while we're in New York. I think I used it for the Sugar Factory and for Ice Cream Museum because of course, you know, when you wear a mask, I hate when my face like is like wiping off any mask. So this kind of helped ease you know the amount of makeup that was transferring on my mask so i was really impressed by that and they're both 16 us each i remember because i actually still have the receipt somewhere in here yes here we go my elder receipt so they were both 16 us dollars which is a really good price so i was impressed with that um i also got me another well this is like a travel size urban decay the slick oil control setting spray i have the full size on it already which lasts me really really long i purchased the full size last august when we were in new york and this time i purchased the travel size because i figured i don't really need a huge huge one because i i'm sparingly <laughs> you know with that one but yeah this one is let me see the cost of it uh, this one was 15 dollars right so I had to get setting sprays because that's something that I need for my makeup to just be cool and chill. Um, let me see. What else did I get? I also purchased a primer, right? This primer though is not from Ulta. This one is actually from Target. It is the Smashbox Photo Ready Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer with Salicylic Acid. I have not tried it out yet, but... I saw some really good reviews and I think it's going to work really well. And I also got me a primer from Ulta. It's the Benefit so this primer. Is it, the Benefit Professional Primer. I got it in the miniature size. This was also $16. So it's an invisible finish mattifying gel and it really does work. Like I actually used this one and the Morphe the white spray that's the mattifying spray when i was heading out because especially in the daytime and it really worked well it kept my makeup especially in my t-zone area like less oily than usual which is great so yeah so i got this from ulta um continuing with the target purchases i got me some of my favorite primers you all know i'm a makeup girl and i love primers especially when it comes to my makeup so i got me two of my elf poreless putty primers i have the mattifying one of course and i have the poreless putty primer because i have pores that are ginormous sometimes so yeah i got these um let me see is there anything else i got Oh, I got me a lip liner from BSN. I've never really tried this before, but I really want to start getting into the brown lip pencil. And I got myself this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade A Bit of Honey. So 
this is just oh sorry this is just me with just a plain gloss from nyx as well but i want to try that whole brown lip liner and nude gloss because i do have a couple of nude gloss as well and i've never used them because they look crazy on me without a lip liner so i'm about to try that all <laughs> right so i got these as well from target and i got some of these from my cousin as christmas gifts a loofah some sea salt bath sea salt um this l'oreal paris voluminous lash paradise mascara set and some of the champagne bath 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 bomb from june times moon right so that is the end of the haul okay guys so i hope you all enjoyed this haul i hope you all got some you know gift inspiration from me or probably some products that you might want to try out probably first time like me um be sure to go check out popsy and check out their wide variety of cell phones that you can get for a fraction of the cost of buying a brand new cell phone so thank you so much to sophia and the popsy team for sending me this brand new iphone this refurbished iphone go check them out guys i'm sure you will not be disappointed thank you so much for you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button leave me a comment let me know what did you get for christmas i would love to know or is there anything that i got that you were interested in or you've tried out already i would like to hear that as well any suggestions for videos feel free to let me know as well thanks so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys